Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. As the Prime Minister has said countless times since last March, when the difficult but necessary decision was taken to fundamentally change the way we have all had to live our lives, we as a government would put our arms around the people of this country. The support has been phenomenal, not just financial, but genuine engagement across every department to support our most vulnerable. It is a proud record that we as Conservatives will stand on. The IMF has said that the UK response is one of the best examples of coordinated action globally. The key aim has always been to protect as many lives and livelihoods as possible, to give certainty in uncertain times, and even now, continued hope beyond this moment of incredible national achievement in rapidly rolling out the vaccination programme. When we emerge from this pandemic, it's important that we have not simply survived but that we have the building blocks in place to thrive again. The Chancellor of the Exchequer will be looking at the right measures at the right time, but we are not there today. In the meantime, the extensive support has included the temporary and emergency £1,000 per year uplift to universal credit. And it is just one pillar of support, but there is much, much more. We have funded local authorities to help families of all ages in difficult circumstances with the COVID winter grant scheme. Not just food vouchers, but help with bills too. Madam Deputy Speaker, it is right that we care deeply for those who struggle most, but it is also right that we are mindful of those who sit just outside the support that Universal Credit offers. We are asking them to support all of these measures through taxation. I look forward to hearing from the Chancellor of the Exchequer as to how he will strike this important balance in the coming weeks and months. As so many have done, I wish to recognise the excellent and professional delivery of the universal credit um, system overseen by my right honourable friend, the Secretary of State for the Department of Work and Pensions, her team and those amazing people working in job centres. A gentle note on Opposition Day motions, if I may. Both sides of this house want what is best for every member of our communities. Making political capital and amplifying social media storms sadly comes with risk. Once in October last year, if being generous could be deemed as unforeseen. Twice has the dishevelled appearance of carelessness. While the opposition seeks to cause division, worry and prey on the fearful, we on this side will calmly continue to deliver.